Hello everyone. Hello. Today we're going to introduce you to a completely new device. Yes. The Habrock HQ 35L or LN. Yes. I'll explain in a moment why it's called LN. Yes. This is the 4K model, so the new one. Yes. Replacing the old HQ 35. The big advantage of the new device is simply that, unlike before where I only had one illuminator for the digital range, yes, now I have two. So both the 850 and the 940. You can easily change it by simply unscrewing it here. And otherwise, I have to say the device is still familiar. Yes, it has two batteries. Yes, which are inserted at the bottom. These are standard batteries. With the 850 battery, I have to say it's a battery that I can get anywhere. Some people might already have it from flashlights or something like that. Yes. I'd also like to mention that it's a button top battery. So not a flat top like you know from other devices, but with a raised top. Yes. It's a protected battery and as I said during the day I have a C, a color, a 4K color image, yes. When the lighting conditions are no longer sufficient it automatically switches over, makes a click and I'm in black and white mode that is night mode, yes. And then the installed illuminator also automatically turns on to deliver excellent image performance. I can then switch to the thermal mode at the push of a button, yes. The device has a 20 net range. That means it measures the temperature difference, yes, which also produces an excellent image at night, yes. Uh, I'd also like to mention that, as I said, the device also has uh, thermal imaging, yes. Here I now have the option to switch to thermal mode from the digital night vision device, yes, and I can choose between different views using several color spectrums. The screen has a resolution of 1920 by 1080. It is an OLED screen. Additionally, it's worth mentioning that I have a rangefinder included, yes, which has a range of up to 1000 meters. As I said, with the rangefinder, I can turn it on or off at any time. You should make sure that it isn't constantly switched on because the rangefinder does use up some battery. Yes, that means the battery life is reduced if it is used continuously, which isn't really necessary. I have a digital zoom on the device, so it's basically an all rounder. So as I said, for someone who really wants to go out during the day and have their usual color image or maybe also wants to spot something at night, to be absolutely sure, you can do that in the digital range. So in real life, especially when it comes to things like antlers or the brain or even the tusks of a boar, depending on the case. But I also have the option to observe in the thermal range, which offers a much more precise way, especially when it comes to detecting game. All right, I pass the device over to Jacob so he can add a bit more. Exactly. Um, as you already mentioned, the eyepieces. So there are two eyepieces, two screens with a 1920, so full HD resolution. Um, a, a, a special feature here is that we don't have a 0 0.39 but a 0 0.49 display, meaning inches in size. And um, that simply means that uh, thanks to this larger display, I can achieve uh, a much more comfortable viewing experience through special eyepieces. And uh, that's why we also have a relatively large glass diameter in the eyepieces, which in turn has the advantage for people who wear glasses that you can really use the entire field of view and don't have the disadvantage, as is often the case with other devices, of, of having the field of view cut off. Um, of course, you've already mentioned the reading distance meter. Then, at the push of a button, it has a photo or video function. Very easy to use. You don't have to go into a sub-menu, you can simply operate it right here. Um, the device has two channels, thermal imaging and this digital video. The digital video, um, as Klaus mentioned, is available for both day and night. The digital channel, that is the video channel, has a base magnification of 5, 5.5 times. But you can also digitally zoom in here up to 20 or 22 times. And then Something I wish had been available earlier, but now with the newer software, there's an optical or digital image stabilizer and the image becomes extremely steady. Even at such high magnification, I would really like it if Hikmicro could offer this feature uh, starting at 11 times magnification because at that point you still don't have any digital zoom on the image. So you basically have the maximum resolution and it would be great if Hikmicro could improve on that. But even with 22 times magnification and the image stabilizer, it's just incredible what you can see. 
So if you have a device like this with you, you really don't need a spotting scope anymore, even for identifying red deer or roe deer. In the past, people used to bring those big spotting scopes along, completely unnecessary. Here you have everything in one device. Yes. Not so great for the nomina, uh, for the uh, renowned uh, manufacturers of binoculars, um, because if you have a device like this with you, meaning a thermal imaging device and a digital uh, binocular combined with a digital night vision device, you really have the jack of all trades in one in a single device at a moderate price and everything is super compact. So really a, a truly uh, fantastic device. Yes, something else I find excellent, which you should also mention. You can adjust the interpupillary distance here. Yes, that's also important because depending, there are different head sizes, right? So as I said, that can also be adjusted nicely and easily. Yes, really perfect. And it also has uh, individual diopter adjustment. Here, you basically focus the sharpness to the screen. Uh, unlike with uh, binoculars, it's necessary that you can adjust both here. You can really adjust this very precisely here. You need a certain amount of force to make the adjustment, but the advantage is that it doesn't easily shift back on its own. Now, regarding the infrared lamp snot, just as an old night vision fan, but also as a seller and manufacturer, I have to add the following. We have the L model here. L always stands for a laser or diode emitter with 850 nanometers, which comes uh, pre-installed from the factory. But as Klaus mentioned, a second one is included with 940 nanometers. That would be the N, yes. But since both are included, the model is just called L. It really should be called L plus LN. Right. The 850 nanometer emitter has a significantly greater range at night than the 940 nanometer one. It, it, it can be used excellently, for example, on a wild boar, but because it has a certain residual visibility in the red light spectrum, uh, in the visible range, it's less suitable for um, red deer, for example. And then you just put the 940 nanometer emitter on, simply by unscrewing the old one and screwing in the new one and you get a slightly shorter range. But in any case, especially with red deer, you have so much stealth that the animals simply don't notice it at all. You can observe them and even at short distances, they basically don't notice the light source. So yes, a significant reduction in disturbing the wildlife. Exactly. So it's, it's really a great device. Mm -hmm. So it's a success, there's nothing more to say. And now, thanks to the video resolution of 4K instead of the previous 2K uh, in the comparable model, you really get an excellent image in both the day and night digital channels. I just have to quickly say, everyone who looks through it is simply amazed because when you see this black thing, you can't really imagine what it's like. And when you actually get the impression of looking through it with both eyes, it's just a completely different experience than looking through it with just one eye. Of course, if someone says, I only need a thermal imaging device and nothing else, then a monocular device might actually be better suited for their needs. It's more compact, but as an all-rounder, there's nothing better. So this thing is about the size of a 7x42 binocular, like a daytime stalking glass, not as bulky as an 8x56, even though you get significantly more light performance at night than with a um, conventional binocular which would be much larger and not really any cheaper either. Yes. What I'd also like to mention is that four batteries are included in the package. So I need two for operation at a time and then I always have a spare pair as a backup. Yes, and a charger and a small pouch are also included in the package. We've already attached uh, the carrying strap here. Yes, of course that's included as well. So as I said, it's a clear purchase recommendation. This is a device that really convinces you and you can check out more details on our website at www.dualoptic.de under the Habrock 4K HQ35 models. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Thank you.